Hi everyone. In this video, we will see about uh, graphs and charts. Okay. So learning the graph and charts is very important because uh, 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 it is very helpful in uh, representing the data in the form of uh, uh, chart and the graph. Okay. The user or the uh, viewer will easily understand if you present the data in the form of graphs or the charts. Okay. Now let us see how to prepare graph for the chart. Okay. So prepare the graph and chart. You need to have the data, a systematic data, using which you can prepare the graph. So here I have some data, uh, some uh, laboratory test results uh, results uh, taken uh, on a beam specimens. Okay, concrete beam specimens. So we have uh, determined two uh, results. That is reliability index and factor of safety of the concrete beam okay here i have given uh, some specification for all the beams for each and every beam the reliability index the reliability of the beam and its a safety factor is determined by conducting the experiment okay so we will present this uh, same data in the form of chart or the graph okay so to, to prepare the graph initially what you need to do is you need to select all the data like this i am selecting now go to insert okay go to insert here you will get the option of the chart okay so here you have different different types of charts you can select whichever you want okay whichever the chart you want or whichever the type of chart you want you can select it like this okay now i will select this now the chart is prepared okay and even you can change the format of the chart as well here we have different different options you can see like this whichever the type of the chart you want that you can change okay so all different types of charts you can present like this okay now you can change uh, the chart type as well okay chart type as well so here uh, there are variety of charts available so however uh, the way you want to represent no the, uh, you need to select the suitable type of the chart so here i have taken uh, column line option is also there see like this it will it will appear if you choose a line option okay pie chart is there pie chart also you can prepare and bar chart also like this it will come okay area xy scatter just it will give all the points okay all the points then uh, like this uh, whatever the type of chart you want to represent in your own way that type of chart you can select right now i have selected one particular type of chart okay now the chart is prepared so in this chart let us see how to do the modifications how to give the labelings see here you can see uh, in x axis and y axis uh, the labeling is not there chart title is not there okay let us see how to uh, uh, incorporate all these things in the chart whatever we have prepared now now click on the chart okay click on the chart so here we have an option called add chart element add chart element here axis primary horizontal for primary horizontal axis for primary horizontal axis primary horizontal and primary vertical okay the axis will be added next axis title okay primary horizontal so here it will appear axis title whatever the axis axis title you want that you can add it okay here we can add axis title as beam designation beam designation okay and even you can add vertical uh, uh, axis title as well here 
reliability index and factor of safety reliability index and factor of safety f o s okay yes now everything is appearing now we have added uh, axis title okay horizontal and vertical both we have added chart title also we will add okay chart title so wherever you want now you can choose if you want the chart title above chart here you can see chart title is coming above the chart or centered overlay in the graph only it will appear the chart title okay let me choose above chart so here whatever the chart that you want you can type here the i will type as variation of uh, reliability index reliability index and factor of safety with different type of or different themes okay now i have added a type as well let us see other options chart title we have we have added then data label data label also you can give the exact number of reliability index and factor of safety uh, will appear if you choose data label whether you want the all the numbers to be uh, appear at the center or inside end okay inside base wherever you want you can give okay i'll choose this option okay the respective reliability index and respective factor of safety is appearing the numbers corresponding numbers are also appearing and corresponding bar charts are also appearing okay then data label is uh, then chart data label is over then grid lines if you want you can add the grid lines okay primary major horizontal uh, primary major vertical so if you want grid lines you can add the grid lines as well okay so i will uh, add a primary minor vertical now you can see if you want to change the type of grid line you can change it. okay you can change it. now the grid lines are appearing here okay uh, then we have one more option that, that is legend okay here reliability index so the blue uh, columns will index uh, will indicate uh, the reliability index values red columns will indicate the factor of safety values this this is a legend okay this portion is there no this is legend so you can reposition this uh, legend okay if you can position this legend on the right side of the graph on the left side wherever you want you can place here you have to go legend right if you choose right option it will appear in the right okay if you choose top it will appear in the top or if you want to change the legend to be appear at the bottom so it will appear at the bottom i will choose a legend to appear at the right side okay right side now the legend is appearing at the right side okay these are all the even you can uh, fix the trend trend line as well okay linear exponential so whichever uh, the nature of trend line if you want to draw for the graph you can uh, add the trend line i choose linear okay so it will it is asking to uh, draw the trend line for whether to uh, draw the trend line for reliability index or factor of safety now i will choose reliability index okay trend line for reliability index say okay now the trend line is appearing that this dotted line here so blue dotted line you can see the trend line is appearing okay if you want to add trend line for uh, factor of safety as well it we can add you can add the trend line for factor of safety also okay let's try remove the trend line for uh, reliability index now i will add the trend line for factor of safety now it is it is showing the red dotted line okay that is the trend line for uh, factor of safety okay. in the legend column also in the legend list also it is appearing okay
So for reliability index, I have added one more curved trend, trend line that is also appearing. Okay. So even you can change the color of the graph. Okay. So how beautiful, how beautifully if you want to present the graph in that way, uh, you can select the graph. Okay. So, so different different combinations are available. Okay. You can choose whichever the combinations if you, you feel good that combinations you can change. Okay. And there is one more option layout. Okay. There are different layouts. Okay. See, you can see how it is changing. Okay. If I move the cursor on different different layers, in different way it will present. Okay. See. So in this layout, uh, the all the reliability index and the factor of safety values are presented below the graph systematically. Okay. Whichever the type that you want, type of layout that you want, you can choose. Okay. Now I will keep the same uh, uh, layout right now. Okay, then uh, you can uh, change the data. Okay, the reliability index factor of safety is uh, selected in the y axis and uh, type of beam is selected on the y axis. If you want to change uh, this input data, you can change it. Okay, here uh, change it or remove it. You can add the new one or remove. Okay, right now it is perfect. Okay, the way we want the, gra the graph uh, in which we want it is perfectly appearing. So no need to do any editing. So you can edit, edit uh, or select the data. You can remove the data. You can add the new data. If you are adding one more result in this column, in this column, so you can add one more uh, uh, data here. Going uh, uh, this, uh, going in the uh, select data. Okay. So even you can change uh, switch row to column or column to row. Okay. If you choose. Uh, reliability index and factor of safety values to be appear in the x axis and uh, beam resignation to be appear in the y axis, it is coming. You can see. Okay. I will keep the original one. Once again, I will click on switch row to column. Okay. Now the graph is appearing. Okay. So these are all the various options uh, we have with respect to the charts on the graph. So which is very important for uh, uh, representing the results of a project okay our results of a experiment okay so that's all with respect to the preparation of the charts and the graphs thank you